So today's project on the cart involves the rear suspension and it also involves this right here. So basically the engine moves independently from the body because the engine basically moves with the rear axle. So when the rear axle articulates, uh, the engine moves relative to the body. So initially what was happening and this goes back really ever since this engine was, since we put it in, is uh, this water pump bolt flange, whatever pulley you want to call it, was rubbing into the fuel tank. So what we did was we ran this strap of metal across thinking that we'd rather have it hit metal than the fuel tank. And um, it's actually ground those bolt heads down quite a bit. And also, the leaf springs are like upside down on this thing and it doesn't help that we pile you know four guys on here doing wheelies the step weighs like 80 pounds so um if you recall the parts cart the workhorse um which for all intents and purposes this is like the half ton the workhorse is like the one ton just simple comparison so um these are a three leaf pack and these are a four leaf pack and judging by the arch on them and also just the condition of the parts cart in general. These probably have a lot less uh, wear and tear on them than the old ones do. So <clears throat> I'm gonna jack this thing up and hopefully it's just a pretty much a direct swap from uh, these to those. Um, it's inevitably not gonna be that, but we can at least hope. We got them out. We got the one side out anyway. Stupid design, but neither here nor there. So this is the new springs going in. Um, so it's three leafs in an overload instead of two in an overload. So theoretically that's 50% more suspension. Suspension. So just gonna keep trucking away at it. I feel like I've made this video before. So the two cylinders gone and there's a good reason for it. Uh, coming next is So the two cylinder had a good little run. It was never lacking for power. It always started good and everything like that, but um, it was uh, too loud and um, normally like really care about how loud something is but for the golf cart which is a kind of like a social machine is the way to think of it you know you always have at least one to three passengers on it and to have that thing hammering away underneath just got to the point where it just made it not pleasant to be on and uh, there's a couple other things that was kind of weird about it but you know the motor always ran like a swiss watch so i got it pulled out got it sold earlier today and um Sold it for a fair price, and it's going to pay for most of the Kubota that you saw in the previous clip. That's going to be a, um, a D600, so a 600cc three-cylinder compared to the 570cc two-cylinder. Hopefully, the smaller cylinder volume just makes it quieter, among other things. So, anyway, we're getting ready to stash this thing in the corner over there for a little bit while we take a break from working on it. So, I just got all my spare parts loaded up. Got to move the fenders to the truck 
and hopefully we can just kind of like because I'd still like to have room to park the mower in here and still have room to get around on the truck. So we're gonna get this thing all packed away for the time being. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your motor.